the uh, the initial discovery that was made uh, during excavation was um, uh, some kind of uh, fragmented and jumbled human remains. Uh, at that point in time, all we knew was that human remains had been found, and we were tasked to uncover. Uh, when, when they were from, we knew they would be historic since the police weren't involved anymore. What we're standing on right through here is a 1948 water main, which is the reason for the excavation in the first place, is a water main replacement. The cemetery was started here in 1827 or 1828. There are a couple of different accounts of how it started with the increase of deaths from malaria in the 1828 era uh, from the canal workers. Uh, there's a lot of malaria that went through the canal area that they were finding too many deaths to keep ferrying stuff people across the river so they started using the area as a more formal cemetery. The key things that we're looking for on the site in terms of the archaeology are finding evidence of the grave shafts. This is one of the cuts for a grave shaft here and then inside we have the remnants of the coffin and then back behind a second one. Some of the only, the only things that have been found buried with them have been some pins and buttons. Uh, the female burial does have a hairpin on the top of her head still and a small straight pin where her uh, throat would have been, maybe to hold her collar closed or for something else. And the one across the way here actually has a little shell button uh, right beside his, uh, his neck, so it may have been a collar button 